Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and I thought today that we'd do something a bit different and we go through my horror DVD collection. Um, now just to start off with, I am really new to the horror scene, believe it or not. Um, I haven't always been into horror. Um, I've really just gotten into it in the last couple of years and I'm loving everything about this community. Everyone's so nice and friendly so far, um, especially over on my Instagram. Um, uh, I share quite a bit of horror content over there and I've met some amazing people so go check out my Instagram if you haven't already. But yeah, so I just thought I would show you what my sort of starter DVD horror collection looks like. I know I haven't got nearly as many as the DVDs that I would want but I think I've made a pretty good start um, just for a couple of years of collecting so far. So uh, let's dive in. So the first ones I have is not actually on the stack because I thought I'd just show them separately but it is the Paranormal Activities. I have officially got them all now um, because me and my boyfriend were watching them through. So obviously we've got the first Paranormal Activity, Paranormal Activity 2, Paranormal Activity 3, 4, the marked ones, and the last one which is the Ghost Dimension, which me and my boyfriend actually have to go watch soon. <laughs> Next stack that I just wanted to show you is that I have finally completed my DVD collection for all of the sort Okay. For all of the Saw movies, so obviously we've got the first Saw, this is probably one of the first horrors I ever watched as a kid. Um, I saw my parents watching it and I was like sneakily trying to watch it and I was like what the hell is that all about? Then we've got Saw 2 and Saw 3, Saw 4. So if you want to know a little secret, this is actually as far as I've got with the Saw movies. <laughs> I'm going, I'm, now that I've collected all of the DVDs, I'm making it my personal mission to watch them all, so you guys don't have to come at me. <laughs> I know. But I tried watching this one, and it's like at the start when they're doing like, stuff to his head, if you watch it, you know. Like, I, I couldn't press any for it. I think I was just traumatized from like, watching them all. <laughs> I'm just making excuses now. But I promise... I will watch them all very soon. So if you guys want me to do a video of me ranking the Saw movies after I've watched them all, I would definitely do a video on that, so just let me know. Then we got Saw 5, Saw 6, then we got Saw the Final Chapter, and then we've got the latest instalment in this franchise, which is Jigsaw. And I do believe that the new one, Spiral, should be out soon. So hopefully I can get this all done and dusted so I'm ready for the new one. So now let's make our way actually through the actual stack on this table. So the first one that we've got is The Grudge. So this is the 2004 with Sarah Michelle Gellar in it. Um, I love her, she's a great actress. Um, I actually watched this for the first time this year. I think it was in January and I really liked it. Um, I know that there's more in the franchise to watch, so I'm definitely going to take the time to try and find their DVDs and give them a watch. Next we've got 13 Ghosts. Now this was actually one of Ben's picks. He was the one that got me to buy this and watch it. I think we got it at CEX. I think most of these are um, from there. We just love trying to hunt these down. And yeah, it was a really good movie and I'm really happy that he recommended this one to me. Next we've got Wolf Creek. Now I watched this as well for the first time this year and I was really impressed. Um, I quite like that sort of like tourists get trapped kind of vibe. Um, so it was really interesting to watch. I did end up watching Wolf Creek 2 but I really wasn't impressed by that one. <laughs> so I'm happy just to stick with the first one in my collection. Next, we've got one of probably my favorite movies in this stack. Um, it is The Ring and The Ring 2. What can I say about these movies? I absolutely adore them. Ben got me to watch them. He was there like, if you want to watch a good movie, we got to watch The Ring. And I'm so happy that I did. A little fact, before I got my dog Draco, we didn't know if it was going to be a boy or a girl. But if it was going to be a girl, I was going to call it Samara. <laughs> you know, you never know. I might have another dog and we might call her Samara. But that's 
just how much I love these movies. The next two in this stack is Silent Hill and Silent Hill Revelations. Now, um, I really enjoyed watching both of these. I know that maybe some people don't like the second one, but I mean, I enjoyed it. Um, it was very different. It was like the first time I've ever watched them. It was last year. And obviously, it's got Sean Bean in it. Who doesn't love a movie with Sean Bean in it? Tell me. Tell me a movie that you don't like. I'm waiting. So this next one in my stack is probably what got me into horror the last couple of years. It Chapter 1. Now this is the box set. It comes with It Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. But It Chapter 1 is really where my heart belongs. I watched it in the cinema and was blown away. The story, the acting, I was mesmerised. I loved it so much I bought the book and um, that was that was a task and a half to read that. It was, it was a mission, but that's how much I loved it. <laughs> I've just been sat here telling you how much that I love it without even genuinely realizing that I've already told you because of the table and a massive Pennywise sat on my shelf. I swear to God, I'm so dumb when I film these. <laughs> the next DVD I've got is The Devil Inside. I haven't actually watched this one yet. I picked this up at CEX probably for just like a quid or something like that. I thought it looked quite interesting. Um, it just looks like your sort of like generic sort of like possession sort of horror. On the front cover it just says the ultimate 21st century exorcism film. So I love a good like exorcism. So I thought, you know, I'll pick this up and see how it goes. And next we've got The Conjuring. Um, I love this franchise. I've watched them all. I don't have them all on DVD. This is the first one I've actually owned on DVD, but I have watched them all. Uh, I just adore this universe. Like such great stories i love them all um probably if i had to pick a favorite probably the nun controversial i know the next one on my stack is of course the blair witch project um once again probably one of the first ones i ever watched um it's just like a found footage uh movie of some kids that are trying to film a film in the woods um about this witch and obviously some scary stuff happens um, I think it's just a classic. I absolutely adore this movie, even though usually my horror lies in when I can see, see the thing. I don't know why, my imagination isn't that great. So if I can't see it, I ain't scared. <laughs> that makes like no sense. But if I can see it, I'm terrified. Like I'm like, oh my god, there it is. It's hideous. I know most people find it more scary when they can't see it because their imagination just runs with them and all the possibilities. But I'm just, I'm just not that, that way inclined. That don't scare me. Your invisible stuff don't scare me. <laughs> Next up, we've got Apartment One Four Three. No, I watched this the other day. This is just about an exorcism again, hauntings, sort of like possession movie. It was just about a family and a sort of film crew go in to sort of find out what the hell's going on in this apartment. I really enjoyed this one. Um, I say it was it was just an easy watch to be honest, but yeah, I like to have it in my collection. Okay, so the next one I actually have two copies of. So I'll show you this one because this was the first copy that I had. It is 28 Days Later. Now this, if you don't know, this is my favourite zombie movie of all time. Um, I adore, adore, adore zombies. I have a real obsession with zombies. Ever since I was little, I dreamed of zombies. That sounds really weird and ugh, you guys are going to think I'm disturbed now. But I don't know, I have a real fascination with anything to do with zombies. So by rights, 28 Days Later is my favourite. And it also has my favourite movie soundtrack of all time. I think John Murphy did an excellent job with this soundtrack and I adore it. So if you've watched my What I Got For Christmas video, you'd have known that Ben actually went and picked me up my first ever steelbook of 28 Days Later. And I just, I am still in love with it now, a few months after Christmas. <laughs> and it still just blows me away with this copy. So. I do hope that in the future, if I have a film that I really love, that I can collect more steel books. But I don't want to be collecting steel books if, it, if I just feel a bit meh about the movie. Next, I didn't know whether to add this onto the list. I'm not sure if it classes as a horror, 
but I think it does. And that is Seven, which stars Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman, and they go after a killer that is killing in the style of the Seven Deadly Sins. Now, if you've watched this movie, those killings are so gruesome. I remember watching this when I was quite young because Seven and another movie called The Bone Collector uh, were my favourite movies. But still to this day, those deaths have scarred me. <laughs> so I just had to have it on DVD. The next DVD that I've got in this stack is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is the beginning. I'm trying to collect all the DVDs before I watch one because I haven't actually watched Texas Chainsaw Massacre before. I know. What am I doing? Um, but I promise as soon as I collect all the DVDs, because I'd rather just watch them all in one go, um, then I will watch them all. And I am really excited because I've heard lots of great things and I know you guys love love this movie in the community next up we've got a few freddy um dvds now freddy is probably one of my favorites as you can tell he is my style icon where did freddy get such style that hat the black and red sweater legendary so first off we've got this box set i picked this up at cx i think it was about six five pounds um but yeah it's just this ultimate collector's edition and it comes with the seven original movies so hold on let's see let's get it out of this little case so yeah on the inside we've just got all of the dvds which is cool so it comes with the first one nightmare on elm street a Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, The Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, A Nightmare on Elm Street 6, Freddy's Dead, and Nightmare on Elm Street 7, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. So uh, I love Freddy. I've watched all of these quite a few times now and <laughs> I still think that the original is my favourite out of all of them just because it's just what it's just where it all started but yeah i love these i also have on a separate dvd just the nightmare on elm street um 2010 um copy i had this one first before i had the box set but yeah i like this remake it's cool it's fun i like sticking it on on a sunday and watching some murders <laughs> and lastly for the freddy films i've got freddy versus jason um, I haven't watched this yet, so if you have, let me know what you think, because I haven't seen many people talking about it. Um, this is a two disc special, this one. So yeah, so it comes with those. So yeah, I picked this up at CAX, I, it looked interesting to me, um, so I thought, you know, I'd give it a go. So let me know what you think. Next, we've got Mama, and now this is probably, again, one of the first ones I've ever watched. I watched it with some friends, they were like... Yeah, let's put on Mama and be all cool. And I was there, like, crying in the corner. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I had to have this one just for the nostalgia feeling of, oh yeah, I remember when I cried over a movie. And next, we've got Insidious 2. I know it's just two that I own. I mean, two is a really good one, but I would really like the rest, but I just found two at a CEX, so hopefully I can pick up the rest. But the Insidious franchise is probably, again, one of my favorites. I love the stories. I just, I love the world that they have created. And I think the reason why I find the Insidious, like, franchise so scary is because, once again, I can see the, like, demonic presence. I can see them with my eyes, and they look so terrifying, and that, like, it honestly just scares me so much i'm like oh my god ah so yeah that's why i love the insidious so hopefully i can pick all of these up at some point and the last dvd we have is hannibal now, hannibal lecter is one of my favorite characters i actually have his pop up on my shelf um he's just so so creepy anthony hopkins does a really good job of being hannibal i think um He's a great actor and I, I really enjoy watching these movies. So that's it. That's it for my horror DVD collection. Um, I know it's only small. Hopefully I can get some more in the future. 
Um, let me know if you had a favourite DVD in this collection. I know it's only small. <laughs> slim pickings thank you everyone for watching this video i am going to try and make more content more around horror now um just more of this spooky horror stuff so thank you for watching please remember to like and also subscribe if you are enjoying my awkward content <laughs> and i'll see you guys real soon bye <music>